All right, so we're like a minute away from the Animal Crossing Direct. I wasn't sure if I was going to stream it or not, but here I am, a minute away. <laughs> so I guess we're going to watch this thing and see how it is. Everybody seems to be really uh, wanting that froggy chair to finally show up, so hopefully we get the froggy chair. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right, here it is. Sharing the link around. I'm this late. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to the Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct. New Horizons Direct. All right, here we go. Hopefully the sound is okay. Today, we'll be going over the details of the update for the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. The update is scheduled to be released on November 5th. All right, so we got like less than a month for this update. Let's Version 2.0. Free content coming to your island. So that sounds pretty significant. People in chat, hey, hi people. New spots, new encounters, all right. Something's coming to the museum. So we kind of saw this before in the preview. This is The Roost, a cafe owned by the composed Brewster. All right, cool. Got our little uh, coffee shop here. Kick back and relax while Brewster serves you up a cup of his finest pan-selected coffee. Perfectly balanced acidity. <laughs> some island residents here. Isabel's showing up. By using the Isabel taking a coffee break. I didn't think she ever stopped working. Cards in the roost. You can invite characters of your choosing. Some of them may bring along company as well. Okay, cool. Animal Crossing cards. I saw um, packs Multiple of the cards. The um, at the same time. Is it Sangrio Why or something? I don't know. The Hello Kitty um, Animal Crossing card packs. I saw those in Target the other day. And I thought the cards were like really hard to find. So I've seen this them out in the Cotton. wild. You'll find him lounging around on your island's pier. Looks like he'll ferry you to a destination via his boat. His pride and joy. Okay, we got capping. It's weird because you're on an island in New Horizons, so it's worth you know, going to other islands to it doesn't have the same the same punch it did in the other games. Your destination is right, a, that was a little weird. gem that only Captain knows about. You might dock at an island with mysterious flora. Or an island with a different season. Oh, cool. Okay, this is a different season Turn island. That's pretty cool. I collected so many of those falling star yeah, things. It's Harv's Island. To try to get the. I think I got like a star it's wand or whatever. Harv runs a photography studio I here. That. I haven't played. Well, I'll be honest. I haven't played New Horizons changes. in a while. So hopefully Looks this like update Harv gets me playing again. I have a friend who still plays pretty regularly. And I was actually watching him play the other day. He was building like a graveyard. I guess for for uh, you know October, he was building a graveyard on his island. Eventually, familiar island visitors like Sahara and Kix will set up shop cool, here. Cool. Reese and Cyrus can help customize ready-made furniture that you can't customize on your own. In addition, Katrina will reveal your fortune for that day. Fingers crossed, it'll be a bustling time filled with all sorts of shops. Harriet might teach you some newly Glad added Glad to see Tour Timer still kicking. <laughs> will Sora come to Animal Crossing New Horizons? Yeah, we'll see if they can get that deal with Disney. <laughs> Participate too. Group stretching. Yes, finally. All right. Now I'm now I'm back in Animal Crossing. I want to do yoga. I want to do virtual yoga. Join in by using either button controls or motion controls with a Joy-Con controller. Okay, I guess it actually does make you like get the Joy Cons and actually do it. Stretch it out together when you invite friends to your island or when we visiting fit. someone else's island. Ring fit. I don't know. <laughs> Or played Ring Fit. It seemed like it was probably decent because it was more it looked like more of like a game, like an actual video game than Wii Fit. 
Take the early bird ordinance, for example. This will make all island residents awake and active earlier in the morning. Yeah, uh, early bird, uh-uh. No, 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 no. You take the nighttime ordinance lifestyle. so that everybody stays up late so you can play Animal Crossing later in the day because uh, that's, that's, that's when... <laughs> have been upgraded. That's when I play video Your games. Sleep in. Available. You can modify your home's exterior to Oh, those are cool. Oh, I like that one. That was really cool. Storage expansion services just got bigger. Previously, home storage held up to 2,400 items. We need more items. With three more expansions, it now holds up to 5,000. Wow, okay. That's a lot. I'm not even close to that. Like, I, I've played a lot of Animal Crossing games in the past, so... It's, it's tough to get into one else. and stick with it for another, like, year when you did that with the 3DS one and stuff, so, um, yeah, but I do know, yeah, getting the, um, storage space bigger, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are probably psyched about that, because they've probably maxed out the game, the game's capacity there. Sugar cane, potatoes, ooh, pumpkins! And more! Why Pumpkins are good. I mean, it's gonna be November 5th, it's a little past harvest. Halloween time, but you're working on your cool spooky island. Falcon Punch 11 said, hey Papa, love your videos, thank you! It's tasty. You can make all sorts of dishes to lay across the dining table. Bon appetit! Nice cooking. With a pro decorating license, lighting and ceiling decor can be added to each room. Oh cool, did they have ceiling decor before? I don't feel like they did. I know you can put stuff on the on the walls. Will also be available to give a single wall a different pattern. I don't remember hanging stuff from the ceiling itself. More design options will be at your disposal. Nice. The maximum number of bridges and inclines you can place on your island will increase to ten each. Okay, cool. Bridges are Plus, useful. Nine fence types, including park fencing, block fencing, and corrugated iron fencing, will be added. Letting you diversify your I like the park fencing. More. Look cool for like a playground area. Bamboo, cool. Frozen fencing, that's kind of neat. Fencing can be customized Frozen too. fencing might look a little weird when it's not wintertime though. The camera app on your Nook phone is getting updated. When changing to a handheld camera mode, the view aligns with your eye level. Oh, that's that's cool. I like that. And if you change to a tripod camera mode, you can also be in the picture. Oh, very cool. I like that. I like being able to do like a first person mode. And angles. This is what a Animal Crossing first person shooter game would look like. Patterns that were previously <laughs> used for customizing items can now be worn. I mean, you got the slingshot, so they should make an Animal Crossing slingshot first person shooter mod. Somebody mod the game for that. <laughs> I already run around the, the islands, like, me and my friends will run around the islands and play, like, tag and hide and seek and stuff, so, yeah, if they added first-person shooter slingshot mode, <laughs> I'd play that. Cool. Eleven new reactions, like waving goodbye, stretching. I really like the stretching. They had a lot of stretching stuff. Somebody on the Animal Crossing team, I feel like, is doing yoga or something. A new Nook Phone app, Island Life 101, provides tips on enjoying your island. Rest assured, newcomers, you'll be able to ease into island living. Additionally, you'll be able to acquire more furniture by redeeming your Nook Miles. Ooh, I like that. I like carnival stuff. That's when pretty your cool. Fill up from the day's I was just watching, um, because it's like October, so I'm watching like spooky stuff. This so uh, me and my brother ahead. busted out. Uh, we have Are You Afraid of the Dark on DVD, so we were watching Are You Afraid of the Dark, and we were watching like we watched like the first six or seven episodes, I think, but it has um. The Zebo the Clown episode where they go to, like the carnival, laughing in the dark. Also come in handy. It was good. Build a spooky carnival for Halloween. Wow. Though again, I think this is coming out November se uh, what is it fifth? November fifth. So um, slider, who yeah, holds a live the pumpkins and spooky stuff. Yeah, it might be a little, it might be a little late for October. Songs. Keep an ear out for twelve more hits like KK. Nice. I love that KK Slide. I like the the albums get covers. It's hilarious. 
You can even enjoy them from this gorgeous sounding music box, a newly added furniture item. Cool, cool. Reminds me of Cowboy Bebop. Looks like something's buried underground. Is it a fossil? <laughs> it's yeah, there we go. Gyroid. Gyroids, come on. When you find gyroid fragments, then plant and water them. They'll mature into a lovely gyroid overnight. Did they not have gyroids yet? I know they didn't have gyroids, gyroids like initially. You may find more this is the first time we're getting gyroids things. updated. Like I said, I haven't really, I haven't been playing the game in quite a while. Gyroids make rather interesting. Sounds. Oh, those are cool looking ones. Experiment with different gyroid combinations, or use them with. Oh, those are really interesting ones. Fresh harmonies. That's cool. Okay, I dig the gyroids new gyroid looks. Customized to match a room's atmosphere. Someone said, "What's a gyroid? Those things, Nook's those those weird." Uh, <laughs> I always thought they looked like available. fire hydrants, but I think they're actually like ancient Japanese sculpture things or something. Or that's what they're based on. Before. They make cool little noises There's and they dance around, you and you can just have them dance and make noises in your Animal Crossing house. You'll be able to permanently place ladders on cliffs with the ladder setup kit. Yeah, the first Animal Crossing had a lot of gyroids. That was like, it's when you were digging, that was like the number gyroids. one thing you'd find, I feel like. This DIY recipe can be purchased from Nook's Cranny. Narrow spaces in a room? Now you can walk through them like There this. you go. Okay, cool. It's a great way to navigate. Froggy chair! Froggy well, chair! <laughs> yes, everybody was hoping for it. We got a froggy chair. All right. The other residents. Oh man. So Is that going to beat up uh, beat out like Sora getting in smash? Froggy chair confirmed. Or make a surprise visit to yours. Is this video going to turn into a froggy chair reaction video? <laughs> what do you think? You might experience this new content in various ways, some of them outside of what we've shown you today. The ladders are pretty cool if, um, I know you, you can build like stairs, right? But I don't know if, uh, I know you, you, knew you had a ladder, but I don't know if you could build one. This will be the last major free content update for Animal Crossing New Horizons. All right, this is the last big update, I guess. We hope you'll continue enjoying your island experience. It seems like, I mean, it seems like a pretty good update. It seemed like they got most of the stuff that I've been missing in Animal Crossing appear to be, um, appear to be back with this one, so. Yeah, gyroids, some of the missing villagers I noticed have come oh. back. Um, they expanded a lot of stuff and just, the, just stuff like that, so. I don't know what else people were wanting with Animal Crossing. A froggy chair. A froggy chair. So we got froggy chair. That's what people really wanted, so it's Our here. Our destination is this archipelago, made up of several islands. Known archipelago? As a resort, this locale is archipelago? popular among characters archipelago? searching for their ideal vacation homes. This is Animal Crossing New Horizons, Happy Home Paradise. Oh, okay. This is paid DLC. After a reference from Tyler, okay, so they said that was the last free update, free major update, so it's still a paid update. <laughs> Is that Lottie? Yeah. Through your work, your Her amiibo did not sell very well. For characters. <laughs> Lottie was like the, if you went to stores with amiibo, like the Lottie amiibo was everywhere. The goal of paradise planning is to help characters acquire their dream vacation homes. Characters with various dreams come to visit the office on this island. Home arcade? Oh man, I'm with the bunny guy. I want that too. Her dream vacation home is filled with lots of plush lots bears. Lots of bears. I know some people who like their plushies. Make her dream a reality. I'm more than I do the arcade. First, select the island on which the vacation home will be built. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's like a desert one and a distinctive features. winter one. That's cool. For instance, may differ from island to island. Yeah, you can send somebody to, like Siberia and Hit like the there you go, you're, <laughs> you're stuck out there. It's great. Then head on over to the site. <laughs> Islands to take a vacation from your vacation. Yeah, exactly. So I thought Cap'n was kind of funny. It was like, hey, yeah, Cap'n, but is it like like the other games? You go to an island and it was different from normal Animal Crossing Village. This game, it's like you're on an island. The whole the whole world is just islands in Animal Crossing now. 
Yeah, Froggy Chair confirmed. Somebody in chat is saying. Exactly. Already be available. That's the big news. <laughs> Pick which ones you'd like to use to start designing. They should have made that the, the paid update. They should have done happy home designer stuff. That's free update. Paid update, froggy chair. <laughs> Spice up a wall with some wallpaper as well. It looks I never got into happy home designer. I, I had one friend um, who was playing it. I actually borrowed a bunch of my Amiibo cards, I think, uh, to, to do stuff with furniture. it. You can also build fences, plant trees. Okay, cool. You can customize their little islands too. And create paths. I mean, that's cool because it's like if you don't want to change your own island around too much because you like the way you got it or whatever, you get this paid update. You have a bunch of little mini islands, little mini homes to, to kind of renovate. Life that's in perfect harmony with nature. Plus, having the seasons stay on some of these, I'm sure, will help have people like figure out how they want um, to make the island look, and it'll, you know, stay that way. I assume it looked like the islands have uh, set um, As you seasons. continue designing vacations, oh, I like that book with the shark coming out. That's cool. Techniques. It's like a pop-up book. For example, adjusting the size of the interior by modifying its width or length, more creative design oh, that's cool. options will become available. In addition, you can use partition walls to divide the space. Counters with two different heights. This ain't got nothing on Neo Pets. <laughs> and pillars that support the ceiling. Each can help change how the home is structured. Lighting can be adjusted as well. Someone said yellow froggy chair. I missed it. If there was, if they showed the froggy chair again, I missed it. Oh, that guy's got a, he's got a gamer set up right there. With all the, the, to the uh, monitors. If they showed a yellow froggy chair, I missed it. But thinking about it, this game has like the customizability of all the objects. So yeah, I would imagine the froggy chair can probably change the color of it. Why not give your furniture a new flourish? After a hard day's work, head back to the like office to get compensated sanctuary. for your efforts. Clayton Pace said, thanks for all the latest news, the cool office, speculation videos, and updates on gaming rumors. Keep on island. keeping on, man. Thank you. Um, yeah, I do. I have um, a Nickelodeon video I want to make, uh, kind of re-predicting the further DLC, now that we've gotten like all the data mine stuff, and I want to do the After Sora video before Monday. I was actually had a bunch of stuff happen like with my family this week. Um, I don't want to get into it, but I had two family members. They're okay. Um, in the hospital this week, before. so uh, I've been like focused on that. But hopefully, today, tomorrow, furniture. Sunday, before Sora comes out, I'll have time now to work on um, a video. So I'll try to get the after Sora video out and potentially another Nick video that might be next week, or maybe I'll get that done uh, today because that one's a little easier. I don't know, but I'm gonna try to get both those videos out fairly soon. So thank you. Oh, cool. Okay, you can have roommates. That's pretty cool. I like building the walls too. That helps with roommates. <laughs> Say, the island on which Lottie's Paradise Planning Office is located has a lot of vacant buildings. Oh, I like there's like you ancient ruins up there. That was cool looking. Well, to make the island even more robust, take schools for robust. example. Design one by drawing inspiration from your own memories, or craft the school of your dreams instead. The school of my dreams is a school that doesn't exist. <laughs> Other facilities, such Who likes as going to school? can also be developed. It's all right, I guess. Oh man, did you see that? That like magazine rack thing that had all the stuff. That's I have that. I don't. I probably can't see it. I probably. You see it in my other videos. I put all my um, Nintendo Power magazines. I, I bought like a. It's like a school bookshelf thing. Um, that's where I put all my Nintendo Power magazines. The vacation homes you design are captured in photos as design samples, then recorded in the Paradise It's like the one piece of furniture portfolio. I'm excited about, because when I found it online, I was like, that's yeah, perfect for my Nintendo Power. Otherwise, I'm not really one for uh, furniture Happy purchasing. Home Network. From the app, you can visit the homes of previous Thank you, BN. And see how they're doing. By connecting online, she knows vacation home. That was pretty cool again. With people from all oh, I saw the the mummy dude. I forget his name. Follow the designer. The mummy dog. Like. He was in like a cool ancient tomb looking and room. And view their designs to spark inspiration for your own. 
Yeah, there's some really cool. Um, I, I again, I haven't been keeping up with Animal Crossing. Animal some of the furniture they've been showing off is really, really cool stuff. Cards to invite clients of your choosing and discuss their ideal vacation homes. Bud. With Amiibo, you can design vacation homes for these busy individuals. I got some the Amiibo. vacation homes you design for them will hopefully make them very happy. Oh, that one's cool. I I take a vacation. Yeah, that looked cool. I was all ancient and cool looking. The planning team can be used on your island. Experiment with partition walls, counters. Pillars. Yeah, I like the partition walls. That's cool. Lighting. Is and partition walls tapes. only in this uh, Happy Home Paradise update? I mean, like, I assume it's only in this update, but, it, like, could I bring it back to my island and do it for my and own house? Because I feel like that's a, special souvenir um, from Paradise a pretty cool Planet. update Many to be able to take the, the rooms the and, you know, partition them. They may uh, I do that anyway, kind of, with furniture. Like, I'll take some bigger furniture and kind of try to make, try to separate the room apart but actually being able to like pull the wall out would be cool who knows someday after you've designed a certain number of homes you might even be able to suggest home remodels to your island residents okay well if you can do that then maybe, maybe it will bring the partition walls to your own island what do you think turning every character's dream into a reality with thorough and creative design that's the work of paradise planning yeah, I like I love the ancient pillars and stuff. I don't know, I always like I like ancient designing. stuff. I think it looks cool. My little monkey guy with a hat. He's cool. Animal Crossing New Horizons Happy Home Paradise. Right, also November 5th, just, November it costs 25 bucks. Paid additional content for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Pre-orders begin October 29th on Nintendo eShop. Same day um, New Mario Animal Party Crossing comes out. New Horizons Happy Home Paradise on its own or experience the paid additional content as part of Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack. Oh, nice. Membership plan for Nintendo Switch Online. Please okay, so is the expansion pack... Wait. For more details on Nintendo Switch 50. Online Plus expansion pack. Okay, so it's 80... So it's like thirty dollars more, but you also get the Animal Crossing Animal expansion Crossing pack. Amiibo cards will be available. Okay, they're making series five. Forty-eight cards. Oh yeah, Wisp. I like Wisp. And Flick. I like Flick too. Cards, as well as new ones, will be released at the same time as the update. Okay. All right. So new card pack. I said right, so I think that's our first look at the um the price for the um Switch Online expansion pack. So it's eighty instead of fifty a year. I think was twelve months. But you get you also get the Animal Crossing update, which is twenty five. So if you're gonna get the Animal Crossing update, you might as well get the expansion pack. It's what, like five dollars more. I mean, well, it's eighty. But if you're already paying for Switch Online, that's actually a pretty good deal. This is pretty much the price of the Animal Crossing. Um, if you already have Switch Online, you were just going to upgrade to the expansion pack, then in, uh, you're going to pay 25 for the Animal Crossing DLC. Then you might as well just pay 30 and get the expansion pack plus, and then you just get this for free. I'm wondering if the expansion pack is going to be 30 or what. But okay, so it's 80 instead of 50. Oh, 80 was for family. Okay, I don't. What is it now? It's is that is that the end of the direct? I guess. I'm trying to remember what the the price I'm paying now for um, Switch Online is. Anyway, um, yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, I might pick up Animal Crossing now. It's just back on my mind because I haven't been playing it lately. Um, but that was it was pretty cool. And I guess getting that update free with the or I don't know if it's free, but whatever. We have to see what the expansion pack costs alone. If it is just eighty alone. Um, or that's the family's 80 and 50 is the, I guess, individual or whatever. I always do. I did the family one. I don't remember what I'm paying for it now. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Whatever whatever the price difference is, uh, it's cool that you get this for free, this update for free. It would be cool if they did that for a lot of things. If you have the expansion pack and there's paid DLC for other stuff. Like, what if you had the expansion pack and it's like, oh, did you want to buy the um, the Smash Fighter Pass or whatever? You get that for free. Like, I don't, I don't know if... Obviously, that's retroactive, so I don't think they do that. But, um, you know, in the future, if more games have paid DLC, but if you have the expansion pack, they just start giving the paid DLC for future games for free. That would make it very worth it um, to get the expansion pack on the Nintendo Switch Online. And then you wouldn't have to worry about, um, you know, paying for paid DLC stuff. So that'd be cool. So it's 50 for individual, and then it's... Uh, 
80 for a family pack for the expansion pack. Um, version of the NSO. I don't remember what the NSO is at right now, though, so I don't know what the what the price jump is together. I'll probably just pay the eighty for a year, which isn't too bad, as I'd probably get the Animal Crossing paid DLC anyway, which was twenty five dollars. So um, yeah, that, that seemed whatever I'm paying for NSO now, plus whatever the expansion back is, and then you know you can take twenty five dollars out of that um, and just pretend that you know you, you paid for the Animal Crossing DLC is pretty good. All right, well, that was a pretty cool stream, um, pretty cool direct here. I uh, We got the froggy chair, so that's what everybody wanted. We got the froggy chair. Um, all right, well, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys later.